hi guys so i am gonna do another journaling video today i did a video all about journaling i think almost a year ago and i'm just gonna do an updated one and show you all the changes that have been made and the new pages i've done i'm basically just gonna flip through my journal and show you the pages so you can get some page idea inspiration maybe if you're just starting out and you don't really know what to put in your journal or Maybe you have been journaling for a while, but you're kind of in a rut. I'm also going to link my last video on this because especially if you're completely new at this, I did go into more detail about like the materials I use and why and how I journal. So if you're interested in that, I will put that somewhere in the description. This is my main journal where I kind of put everything. It's like kind of all in one place for the most part. This journal is from Michaels from the brand Artist Loft and as soon as I finish this which is going to be soon I'm probably just going to buy the exact same one it's really inexpensive I think it was like maybe eight dollars or less when I bought it and it's really good quality I do have another journal this is just my dream journal and I strictly just write my dreams in here I thought it'd be kind of cool to like record my dreams and I don't have to like flip through this one to find them so I've been writing in this journal for two years now I think going on three years which I know is a long time I'm gonna be honest there are like periods I go through where I just sort of forget or I don't feel like it but I always you know find my way back if you guys hear my cat in the background I'm sorry he's just like talking a lot and I know people get kind of discouraged when trying to start journaling because like they can't stay consistent or they start a journal and it kind of just goes nowhere that used to be me 100% I would always start journals and tell myself I was gonna journal in it every day and then I never did but the one thing that I guess has helped me stay consistent is just putting no pressure on it and also if a page didn't really come out the way you wanted I just kind of stopped caring about that because that was a big reason in the past I would make pages and I would think they were ugly and then I would rip them out. I don't really know if that's helpful but that's kind of what has obviously kept me consistent because I mean it has taken a long time but I am still writing in this journal after two years so but if you're thinking about journaling please do it because I'm able to look through and see every big moment and milestone in my life from the past years documented in here which is like such a cool thing to be able to look back on so i'm gonna do a flip through of my journal and show you the pages i've made and just kind of like give you page ideas i will probably be blurring some things out because this is my personal journal and there's some really personal things in there that i just don't really want people to read i showed the first half of this journal in my other journaling video so Flipping to where I last left off, the first page on the left is just kind of a little collage page with some manifestation and affirmation things on it. This next page is just kind of a journal entry. This one's a little personal and I have some very badly moon phases drawn, but basically I just kind of wrote about like phases in my life that I've kind of gone through. Also, I would like to say that the end of 2021 was very hard for me. I was going through a lot of things. So if the pages don't really look up to par, that's why. But also you can kind of see like my journaling style, how that's changed and everything, which is kind of cool. So this next page, I just called it Funk and I kind of just wrote a little journal entry at the top about how I've been in like a funk. And then at the bottom, I just put a list of things to do when I'm sad. I made it for myself when I ever do feel sad. I can just kind of go back to my journal and refer to this list. This is kind of a recurring sort of page. I don't do it every month because I do forget, but um, I do a monthly reflection page. So this was my September reflections and this was inspired by Margot Lee. I'm pretty sure I saw it in one of her videos and I love her. So I thought it was a good idea. All right, we're going to skip a bunch of pages because I was not doing well this one's not very cute but i did a semester recap of my fall semester last year um and my printer is absolutely terrible so there's lines all over these pictures but i just wrote little like annotations for the pictures and then the next page is my current favorite songs page the next page is another affirmations and manifestation page and I just wrote some positive affirmations and just again things that I'm hoping to attract into my life around the new year I did 
two pages on my 2022 goals and 2022 intentions. This page was inspired by Moya Mawini. I think that's how you say her last name, but she is literally one of my favorite creators. I love her and she did a journal with me video and I did one of the pages that she did. So I just listed all of my 2022 goals and I picked a few of my most important goals um, out of that list that I really wanted to work on. And on the page next to it, 2022 intentions, I kind of like made a plan of how I'm going to achieve those goals realistically. So, okay, I love this page. So on the left, I just kind of have this collage of just like momentums or no, sorry, that's not the right word. Mementos from the time. Um, this was at the beginning of my spring semester. And on the next page, I just journaled about how I wanted to kind of get a fresh start. And I put some 2022 goal progress. This next page, I am not an artist, but I just kind of wanted to try and see if I could like sketch something cool. So I just used a bunch of like colorful pens and markers I had to draw like these eyes, which I actually love this page. I think it came out really cool, even though some of the eyes look kind of wonky, but like the point was just to try to be creative. So this is another manifestation page and I did this on 2 to 22 um, and I just drew some like little doodles. Then this page is when I went to New York by myself and I just sat in, I think it was Bryant Park, yeah, Bryant Park, and I just wrote down like what I was observing, what I was feeling in that very moment. And then at the bottom, I just put a list of places I've been so far. And I have another monthly reflections page. This is April. This is another journal entry. And then I have this page of things I'm looking forward to. So I said seeing progress from the gym, redecorating my room at my college apartment, my PR and advertising classes, turning 21, having a TV in my room. So like small and big things that I was looking forward to. And then this page is a wish list page, um, which I basically just printed a bunch of like things I want to buy for myself when I can afford to buy them and like collaged it. And then this page is really cute. I've seen this sort of style on Pinterest, so that's where I got the inspiration for this, but basically just putting an envelope on one page and you can put things inside of it. Like some people will put like love letters they wrote or things like that. But inside, I just put a few little like things that I kept from the summer, but I do wanna print out some pictures and put them in there as well. And then the page next to that, it just says summer 2022 highlights so I broke down each month and just put like the most exciting things that happened or I don't know things that just made me happy it wasn't a very eventful summer but I did appreciate the little fun things I did this page I just wanted to make it like look visually interesting so I took an old contact sheet that I had from a film class in high school like I was practicing taking film pictures and I had to like develop them myself and everything so I just kind of cut some parts of that and then in the middle I followed a journal prompt I saw on Pinterest I saw one that said what has been giving me energy so I just kind of wrote about things that have been making me feel like energized and alive and excited this page is one of my favorites that i've done recently it's just another collage page but i definitely recommend keeping like receipts or like things from an event you went to or something so you can kind of have it as a memory but i just have some movie tickets um a receipt a receipt from universal and from this wine place i went to in miami and I just annotated all of them. Some of them I put the dates and I just like put arrows explaining like what they were for and stuff. Then sort of like a mind map. This one was fall semester 2022. So I just kind of put things that I'm excited for about this upcoming semester and like what I associate with fall semester. So we have game days, redecorating, seeing my roomies and friends, nights out, um, going out outfits, classes, autumn cold weather halloween stuff like that so this page is a things i love and i just drew a heart and i just wrote a bunch of different things on it everywhere like feelings i love i have doing my skincare routine pinterest boards 
um, my special iced coffee, hot girl walks, my eyelashes, waking up early, a lot of things. And then this is a just journal entry page, a brain dump. Wrote it in sort of a stream of consciousness style. This one's kind of a fail. I tried to draw plates and tell me why I literally put a circular thing to trace and like I still, it still came out bad. Each like meal of the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and I just put a bunch of ideas for things I could make. This is another collage page. I wrote song lyrics. I think this is Static by Steve Lacey that I was writing. This page is what are you feeling right now and I just put all of the kind of emotions and feelings that I have recently and I sort of wrote them as like dictionary definitions. I have another journal entry where I just wrote about my day and like how I'm about to be going back to the cycle and then I wrote a little like thing of the cycle and then this is another kind of daily prompt page i just wrote the date and i answered some questions i got on pinterest i love this page this is literally like my favorite page right now um i think i also got inspiration from this on pinterest but i basically just took some like magazine pages and like ripped them into different shapes. In the blank spaces I left, I did some writing. I wrote about my biggest priorities right now and just about how I feel about going back to school soon. This page I wrote about like the stress I was feeling because I definitely feel like when I write down all the things that are stressing me out, it definitely helps to relieve it a little bit. I just put this like little magazine cut out in the center. This is a to-do list. It just says must do this month. This is actually the last page for now. It is just another journal entry, but this one's kind of personal, so I'm not gonna show you guys. That is my journal at the moment. I'm nearly finished. I don't have too many pages left, so I will be starting a new journal soon, but hopefully that kind of gave you some ideas. If you're looking for more page ideas, um, go watch my last journaling video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.